Harry's wife loves balls. I, I mean tennis. She loves tennis. She loves tennis. Harry's wife loves tennis. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Hello, everyone. So I, as you saw from my last video, the sugars, the polizei units, irritated me and I'm in the mood. So I had put on, or I put something up on Getter. Should I make an absolutely petty video tonight? Because they're, you know, when they do stuff, their queen's going to go through it. Because that's just how it's going to go. That's just the way it goes. That's the way that it goes. So I asked everybody, should I do a petty video? And of course, everybody, it was a resounding yes. So while working on said petty video, which will be coming after this at some point, while working on said petty video, I was going to use a photograph that I had seen on Getter, I believe it was yesterday, in that video. But then when I saw it again today, it made me think of something. So instead of putting that in with the, the rest of the petty stuff, because I can be very petty, um, I thought I'd make a video for it itself because I think that it needs its own video because Megan loves balls. I mean tennis. So this video is just for discussion purposes only, of course. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. If it seems like I'm implying anything about anyone, I'm not. <clears throat> Sorry, to something in my throat there. Um, it's just for discussion purposes. If I, if it seems like I'm implying something, I'm not. Everything is just, you know, everything is fact that I'm going to show. And Sussex Squad, this is your fault, especially you, Sarah Data, especially you. So here we go. So when I was looking at this photo, it made me think of something, an event that happened in 2019, September. And I know that this stuff has been gone over before. I'm not sure if what I'm going to point out has been gone over before. Perhaps it has, perhaps it hasn't. And even if it has been gone over before, there's no reason to not bring it up again. Why not, right? So... In 2019, the Duchess, now there's been conflicting reports, but that would go for the time changes, so I'm not sure. So she was either in New York City on Thursday night, or, fr well, definitely on Friday night, for Serena uh, Williams' tennis match. So she might have been there on Thursday night. I don't know. There's conflicting stories in the media that I looked up. I will acknowledge that. But she was definitely there on Friday night and Saturday night, whatever. Friday night would be key either way or Thursday, but Friday night. So when I was looking at the picture I had seen, as soon as I saw it, because I was going to make fun of her about something because the squad, hey, squad, don't do it to me anymore. She already, you know, I already have enough stuff to go over. It doesn't have to be the, it doesn't have to be this way. So I looked up a couple articles. Meghan Markle flies to New York to watch Serena Williams play tennis after snubbing the Queen's Balmoral invite. Well, I didn't know that, that she did that, not surprisingly. Cause, because from what I understand, this was a, a last minute trip. Now keep in mind folks, I'm a girl. I know how things go. I know how th girls are. I know how they look. I know the things that they do. Especially ones that are just two years younger than me. So she wanted to go for a last, it was a last minute trip. So this article says on September 6th, 
Megan flew to New York yesterday to watch Serena Williams play tennis after snubbing a stay with the Queen because she was too busy. Last minute trip. The Duchess of Sussex saw her pal storm through the semifinal of the U.S. Open on TV late on Thursday night. Okay, so, all right, so then she was there on Thursday night. Some saying, you know, whatever. People Magazine, Meghan Markle supported her good friend tennis star Serena Williams at U.S. Open. Blah, blah, blah. The outing marks the Duchess of Sussex's first trips, trip overseas without her four-year-old son, Archie. Prince Harry remained home with their son in Windsor. Now, People Magazine, from what I understand, is a pretty reliable source for the duo. Megan is expected to return to Britain at the end of the weekend. It's a last-minute trip. Excited to support her friend and then come back. Uh huh. So there, then, then. So as I was looking at all all of this stuff, then Serena Williams, I think in November, said, "Oh no, she brought Archie. She brought Archie." So, is that a friend covering for her? Maybe. Did the all the news articles get it wrong? Maybe. But the fact that if if Archie was or was not on this trip, that doesn't matter for the point that I'm going to be making here. Okay, so after being panned in the press for her reported $500,000 baby shower in New York, blah, 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 in addition to taking a commercial British Airways flight, oh, how humble of you. In addition to taking a commercial British Airways flight in and out of the city, as opposed to the private jets she and husband Prince Harry favored this past summer. Oh, I'm, I thought somebody like dragged them on with, sh with FBI shackles and handcuffs to get on those planes. Megan also opted for a non-flashy, affordable ensemble for her outing. A $118 denim shirt dress, $99 sweater blazer from J. Crew. How sweet. Additionally, she stayed at a private residence instead of the Mark Hotel, which is, which is a known paparazzi magnet on the Upper East Side, many celebrities get ready there ahead of the Met Gala every year. Now, does that sound... You know, I can understand her taking a commercial flight. Facade management. But... Not wanting to be where paparazzi are, even though she claims that she doesn't want to be where they are. At the Mark Hotel... Instead, she stayed at a <clears throat> private residence. Does anyone know who that private residence is or was? Now, that doesn't mean anything of whose house it is. Maybe it does. But does anybody know who, who that was? But she definitely wanted privacy, didn't you, little hussy? Didn't you, you little hussy? <clears throat> After all of the big fanfare of her trip for her two-day baby shower, where paparazzi followed her every move, blah, 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 she was in New York to support Serena and catch up with a few other old friends. Does anybody know who they were? But was determined to keep everything very low-key and as under as the radar as possible. Now, why would you want to do that? The only reason that she, somebody that wants to be seen all the time, even though she claims she doesn't, is if she's up to no good. You guys are going to have to be the judge and jury on this when I... So I'm going to go through a series of pictures that we've all seen. But after I go through the series of pictures, then I want to point something out that I'm not sure 
if anybody noticed or put it together. Maybe somebody has. Um, but again, no harm in bringing it up again. <clears throat> Uh, 2019, blah, blah, blah. So she wanted a very low key under the radar staying at a private residence. Last minute trip. Blew off the queen to see a tennis match. Um, cause to her, that's just, a, I mean, not that her friend's not playing that time, but that's just a tennis match. You know, that's a once in a lifetime opportunity for a lot of people, but for her, it's not really, shouldn't be that really big of a deal. Now, if she brought Archie or she didn't, again, doesn't matter. So here she is with her entrance here. We've all seen her big hello, if you will, to what's his name, Alex, what's that guy? I don't even know what his name is. I know that's Serena uh, Williams' husband. Megan saying hi, you know, hey, you know, he's richer than Prick Harry. Megan is a, a narcissist. So it's been claimed by many, many, many experts. Uh, you know, so anyway, so hello, she walks in. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Hello. Now this would be the beginning of a slut crossing her legs with a dress open. Women have seen it. Men have seen it. Not this bit, but if you've not seen this, this picture, you've, you've just seen it. I know that look. I know that move. So this perp gentleman in the blue and I couldn't find all the good pictures. They seem to be off the internet or harder to find, but people have them. This person in the blue shirt would be Serena Williams' husband also. And Megan is giving him a big hello with her vertical smile, if you will. So, and then walks in this gentleman. Now, I don't know who he is. But she says, hello, hello, you know, she's all, everything's great, hi, hi, hi. I'm not sure who he is, not implying anything, I'm just, you know, just saying. So, hi, kiss, whatever. Then she sees Serena Williams' mother, I'm assuming that her last name <clears throat> is Williams, I'm not sure. But that's Serena Williams' mother, and everything is hunky-dory. Again, I know you guys have seen all this, but I'll get to it. So then, the, you know, through the course of all of this, there is some bizarre behavior exhibited by our dear Duchess. And, you know, the husband's sitting right in front of her, and Serena Williams' mother doesn't look too keen on the dear Duchess anymore. That could be for many reasons. Um, is she annoying? Probably. Does she feel that there's some flirting going on? Maybe. Does she just feel an all-around, get an all-around skis vibe from the Duchess? Most definitely. Because everything was fine. Look at how bizarre. More bizarre behavior. Mrs. Williams does not look happy. We've seen videos of this person, the Duchess, talking to herself. Mrs. Ms. Williams, Serena Williams' mother is ignoring her, wants nothing to do with her. For men, I'm sure there's many reasons. Just being a skis is probably one of them. That's an umbrella term. Then we have more bizarre behavior. Just showing all of this just because. Then we have the, the hoity, zoned out hoitiness, the concern, the smiling. <clears throat> more weirdness. More weirdness. 
So, more weirdness. So then, while I was putting this this video, or my petty, petty, petty video together, I saw, I thought to myself, oh, well, let me grab that, that picture just to, you know, throw in, because there's a, there's a lot of material that I can be petty about, but when I saw it, it made me think of this. So, you have a mother, well, if she brought the kid, it's very strange that she'd just leave the kid with somebody in New York, so, who knows, doesn't matter. Last minute trip to New York. Stays at a private residence. Low key. Meets some friends out. Some old friends. Last minute trip. I'm a girl. I've had boyfriends before and admittedly I've cheated on them. This sounds like, and I'm just talking about myself here, this sounds like something I've done. Last minute trip, low key, no Facebook pictures, you know, blowing something off. Oh, my friend, you know, oh, for something that just, you know, I could pretty much probably do any time, really. Back real fast. I'm just talking about myself. So this picture was on Getter yesterday. It just making fun of her rug burn knees. And we were all laughing and everything. Ha ha, funny, funny. We were all laughing. So then when I went to go get grab this just to make, you know, throw it into my petty video, I thought, well, wait a minute. Those rug burn knees or fresh rug burnies. See, I know what those are too. I know what those are too. Those rug burnies are pretty raw and fresh there. Last minute trip. Private residence, low key meeting old friends out, no paparazzi, no nothing. I don't know what she did the whole time on this thing. I don't know where she stayed. But I've just, from my personal experiences, you know, I know what raw knees, rug burn knees look like. They look like that. And that was on a Saturday. And I've also skipped town on boyfriends. Oh, uh, uh, like a uh, last minute trip. The shadiness, out of character, breaking of patterns. You know, a, you know, guys could, you know, if a guy was cute enough or, you know, whatever. Um, that, you know, those, that can, that's a good enough inspiration for anybody. Perfect excuse here. Last minute trip. Raw needs. So, and you know, I'm not sure, but I know once I've been in a relationship, you know, the, the uh, steaminess in the bedroom can kind of, you know, get less steamy. Not as less steamy, but maybe less frequent. Now, I'm not a mother. But I would assume that even after being with somebody for so long, especially being married and then having a kid, the frequency and steaminess is probably low. I'm not sure that any of my married friends had rug burn knees. At those points in their life, their newborn kid. Yeah, I don't recall any of that. So, ladies, tell me what you think. Men, tell me what you think. I'm not implying anything about anybody. I'm just showing you some pictures, reporting on the facts that have been reported on, showing pictures, and then sharing things that I've done.
that's all. Uh, looking forward to the comments. And again, if you guys have heard this about the raw knees and the trip without, you know, and, and everything else, sorry. But I don't think anybody mind, should mind me bringing it up again. Way to go, Sussex Squad. Keep it coming. Keep coming. If you like my channel, please subscribe, hit the likes and notifications button, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to work on the other petty video. If I don't get too tired, I'll get it out because I like to have good commentary and I need to be wound up a little bit for the commentary. So we'll see. If not, it will be out tomorrow, but just know that it's coming. See you later.